Hello, uh, this is Fernando Gomez. I will give some comment about the nomenclature of planoflagellate. Christian Gerenberg described the first uh, genera of planoflagellate. Sometimes it's very difficult to find the illustration. It's more easy to find Wally than to find the illustration that you are looking for. And the main problem is that uh, many of the illustrations will never publish it, and they were in a museum in Germany. So the only that we have is the short uh, diagnosis of the species. For that reason, we follow the interpretation of other authors. For example, for the species that we call Tripos furca, really uh, Ehrenberg called it uh, Tripos ugramus, and for the species that we call Neatus is the real Tripos furca, and the same, for example, for uh, uh, tripos macroceros that doesn't correspond to the species uh, that we call macroceros. Uh, the question is, is we have to consider this unpublished material uh, as type of the species, we cannot use it, but we have to consider for the taxonomy. Einstein was an entomologist. He described several genera of uh, Danoflagellae and he also visited the same place where uh, Ehrenberg worked and he described Etrop. For the species that uh, Ehrenberg described as uh, Glenodinium trichetum. So when the illustration of Ehrenberg appeared, we realized that really Einstein described a distinct species under that name. And Einstein described uh, Glenodinium trichetum as Glenodinium foliaceum that was later transferred to Heterocapsa. Some German researchers have access to the unpublished illustration by Ehrenberg, and they began association of papers. They will propose a new species, Heterocapsa steinii, for one of the illustrations of Heterocapsa triqueta by Einstein. And this author also considered that Einstein never described formally Heterocapsa Triqueta. However, the species Heterocasa triqueta, according to Einstein, uh, was already described in the same place with the name Peridinium monad. This author continued publishing paper on the same topic. They transferred Glenodinium trichetum into the genus uh, Tritoperidinium based on uh, a type that was an unpublished illustration by Ehrenberg. To find the unpublished illustration of Leonardo Tricetum, provide to this author five papers. Einstein described three species of heterocapsa, uh, and the three species have the same characteristic. They have a endosymbiotic type. So this author proposed uh, two new genera for this species. In this case, they don't follow the recommendation of the code and they ignore uh, the synonymy because the passionym of uh, Frisaea was Peridinium Kikekone that was already described as Ceterocasa, Quadridentata by Einstein. So Einstein described three species with different morphologies, but uh, now that we have a molecular data of this species, we can see that they are phylogenetically related and they can be in the same genome. Unfortunately, uh, the Nomenclature Committee for Algae interfered in the taxonomy and the genus Heterocasa that was created by the author for the species with uh, endosymbiotic diatom have changed the sense of the original description. And we have as, uh, the type of the genus Heterocapsa around a species because it was uh, Peridinus mona that can be in the genus Cachonina. Einstein also described the new genus Goniodoma and the new species uh, Gnanovinium trochoideum. For Goniodoma, he used a basionym Peridinium acminatum, that is a, a polygonal species uh, with hexagonal 
uh, shape in optical view. While um, granular neutral color is uh, oval, and you cannot see the transversal uh, contour because you know However, again, the same author now interprets that peridinium acuminatum is granodinium trochoideum. And this is uh, followed by the nomenclature committee for algae, and we lose the genome coniodoma, the species Crisilla trochoidea, the family, and also they don't solve the problem because for coniodoma they don't propose any name. They propose tradinium or pyrrotradinium, creating more confusion. If the aim is to, to say the Priscilla, it has no sense because in the year before we know that the scriptiella is a synonym of duoscolinium or probably of duoscolars. During the night, Ehrenberg observed a phenomenon of bioluminescence in the coast of Naples, and next day he observed the sample. Obviously, the thirds were already distorted, and he observed only the thickness of the thirds and then the empty thick of the nanoflagellate. Ehrenberg described this group of organisms as Amplepharocista splendor maris. Uh, and they describe Goniodoma, Goniaurex uh, polyedra, don't find any relationship with the thirds illustrated, but if we observe the Enthitheca, we can see that they correspond to the species uh, Goniaurex uh, polyedra, as uh, we can find in the literature by different authors. As Ellenberg said that the species was very abundant in the Mediterranean Sea, uh, Einstein observed some samples from the open Mediterranean Sea, and the first nanoflagellate that they found, that he found that to have three central plates and five peripheral plates, they con he considered that was the Flarocita Splendor Maris, in part. As the description of the Flarocita Splendor Maris is very confusing because it includes several organs, we follow uh, Einstein. In 2004, the status quo is broken, and this German author considered that Ehrenberg described a species of Alexandrium, and they report that this will not be a problem because the code, or the botanical code, will uh, conserve the name Alexandrium. There is no type material of uh, the uh, by Ehrenberg, but this author will invent a type material and provide a type. They report that the species is Alexandrum baleschi that was described in the mangrove in Florida, that is a very different ecosystem of the Mediterranean Sea. And nobody has observed this species in, uh, in the Mediterranean Sea, and the picture doesn't correspond to that species. The conservation is to provide uh, stability in nomenclature, but uh, when there is a base, not when it's based in crazy interpretation. Carbonel Moore submitted a proposal to conserve uh, the Frausista Splendor Maris in the center of Einstein for the oceanic species. He, he said that Ehrenberg have no type material, and uh, that the species that described Ehrenberg was uh, Lingula polyedra. And uh, this author also submitted a proposal to conserve the name Alexandrum over uh, the Frausista. So we have two proposals, one to conserve the name Befarocista, another proposal to reject the name Befarocista. What is the, de the decision of the Nomenclature Committee for Algae? It's not recommended any of the proposals. In the case of uh, Alexandrium, the General Committee considered that the name is not, valid, is not validly published so cannot be conserved. Fortunately, the General Committee began to control the, the chaos of the Nomenclature Committee for Algae, where the same author submit and evaluate the proposal. This is an example of the secretary. In Nomenclature of Dan Flagler, it's common that the author ignores the principle of uh, priority. For example, this author proposed uh, Brantodinium for the genus uh, Sosantella, that is fully valid, and they say that they will submit a proposal to reject the genus, but they never submit the proposal already uh, been submitted in the past and always rejected because they are no reason. But what I want to show here, Sosantella is a symbiont of uh, 
pelagic radiolaria is fully unrelated with symbiodinium that is an endosymbiont in a tropical invertebrate, it's in, in the coral reef. So Santella and symbiodinium are fully distinct genus, but we have the members of the nomenclature committee for algae that make a synonymy of uh, Sosantella and Symbiodinium. They have their moment of glory in the, their own journal. For the other proposal, uh, the problem is that we have set uh, Befarcistas according to Stein and also Befarcistas according to Arenberg. We have the same name in two, in two cut. So we have a, a birrenal problem. But this is a minor problem because we have other case like the, like uh, Phalacroma. Phalacroma is an animal, it's a trilobite, and we have also a posterior pneumonia, Phalacroma by Einstein, as a dinoflagellate. Einstein is a zoology, and there is no problem we use in, uh, in the botanical nomenclature. We use uh, Phalacroma, and there is not a major problem. The people that work in harmful algae, they can invent any any history that will not affect because uh, they control the nomenclature committee for algae and always they can conserve the name that they want. However, the situation is not the same for other genus. For example, Ceratoperidina was described by Margaret without uh, Latin diagnosis and uh, Loeblis provide the diagnosis and validate the genus. So we, we pass from the uh, Ceratopedidium margaret to Ceratopedidium uh, That is quite questionable. However, if margaret is a zoology, this is uh, valid for the botanical nomenclature. However, if an author describes a taxon uh, with a zoological name, is accepted in the botanical uh, nomenclature. This is the case of uh, Margaret that describes scaphodinium in a zoological uh, journal and also he described, uh, later he described Ceratoperidinium in a fisheries journal and using the terminology for Ternoflagele of the zoology. However, when I submit a proposal to conserve the name Ceratoperidinium Margaret, it's rejected because Ceratoperidinium Margaret is not a name is not valid published. So when a name is not valid published, it cannot be conserved. Halin described the genus Alessandro in a pessimist paper where he didn't provide a type, provide four types for this for the species type of species that can belong to different species. And he didn't include the uh, Latin diagnosis. But uh, Harin is a botanist or a zoologist. Thus, year, in 1960, Harin proposed the new name, Dino Pradelene, Dino Porella, to replace the zoological name Porella. So, it's clear that uh, Jose Harin was a botanist, and also in another paper, he used the uh, Latin diagnosis. So, Harin is uh, a botanist, he didn't follow the rules and the name Alexandro is not valid. So for the first time, we can find a report without there. In other publication, the, one member of the Nomenclature Committee for Algae, Professor Moestru, will announce that he will submit a proposal to conserve Alexandro over Centrodinium. If you read that paper, you will see that there is not any phylogenetic tree, any figure, because it's harmful algae. It's the only journal where the editor says don't submit paper to that journal because it's not serious. I will not use my phylogenetic tree because you will say that I have manipulated, so I will use the tree published by the same people that submit the proposals. And you can see as uh, the genus Alexander is not monophyletic. We have a species that are closer to the genus Curia than, the, than to the type of species of Alexandrium. And the most important is that we have the genus Centrodinium in the middle of the species of Alexandrium. So we have the principle of priority, and the only solution here is 
to transfer all the species of Alexandrium into Centrodinium or to split Alexandrium as we have in the past. However, the members of the com nomenclature committee of Polargy don't follow the rules and they will propose to conserve Alexandrium or Centrodinium. Uh, the solution is clear, Alexandrium is, is no more phyletic and we have already different genera, genera and the species have been already transferred. So there is not a uh, very big change. The only problem is to find a name for uh, for the genus Alexandrium that is in Bali. Uh, obviously, a G base uh, don't follow the rules. The solution is simple, just to create the a new genus Alexandrium again and to transfer the six species that belong to that genus and we solve the problem. However, the people that work in Parfumology want to demonstrate that they control the general committee. So, Halley was a botanic. We cannot discuss this. And the general committee uh, was right. It's impossible to conserve the name Alessandro. So, what dirty trick we can use to save uh, Alexandrium. The name Alexandrium is, uh, is a botanical name, but we will miss this with the zoological nomenclature and we will try that the zoology will accept this botanical name. And like this, uh, Alexandrium will be a valid name. And what to do with the problem of uh, Centrodivium that have the priority over Alexandrium? So we will submit the proposal and the general committee will uh, reverse the priority, will not follow the, the principle of uh, priority, and the problem is solved. After that, uh, nobody will consider seriously the nomenclature of dinoflagellate. Thank you for your time and uh, good luck in your decisions.